Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that I asked if you guys wanted to see on Instagram and you guys all said yes, I got so many yeses and it was what my all time favorite red lipsticks were and I have been red lipstick obsessed lately, like you guys know for a really long time I was really into like the mauves and like the brown mauves, kind of those shades. I was into those literally for almost two years. It's what I wore almost every single day and lately I've been really into reds. I've been wearing them almost every single day. I've been really into like that 50s kind of style lately, like the red lipstick and then like, you know, winged cat eye sunglasses, like this whole vibe. I've just been really, really into that look lately, so I've been wearing red lipstick a ton. And I wanted to share with you guys what my favorite red lipsticks are because I do have a very picky taste when it comes to red lipsticks. Like I have certain colors that I kind of tend to stay away from. One thing that I can say is that I tend to gravitate towards warm reds when I'm buying reds and I tend to gravitate towards like down-toned reds, like kind of like terracotta reds or brick reds. It's rare when I go with like a cool toned red or like a pinky toned red. I'm just sharing with you guys what I really like personally. So if you guys kind of like the same look as me or you guys like my Instagram pictures where I'm wearing red, these tend to be the reds that I do wear. So the first one is actually the color that I'm wearing right now. I put this one on first because um, it's easiest to get off because it's a lipstick. But this is the lipstick by Milani and this is in Burnt Red number 87. It's weird because you wouldn't expect this color to come out of this lipstick based on the swatch on the back. Like the back looks like a cool toned, almost mauve red, but when you put it on your lips, it's completely different. So this is just a beautiful, like I said, orangey, terracotta, down toned, warm red. The thing is though, is I tend to gravitate towards liquid lipsticks when it comes to reds, because I feel like when you go with lipsticks, they will feather and they will blur by the end of the day, so you have to wear a lip liner with lipsticks, and I'm not a huge lip liner wearer. It's one of those steps that I just always skip because I am too lazy to apply lip liners, and so a lot of times when I wear this and if I forget to apply a lip liner, it will feather and it will blur. Like color-wise, it's my favorite red. I just really, really like it. So I still do wear it, and it is going to give me more moisture than like a liquid lipstick would, so if you like lipsticks versus liquid lipsticks, I would definitely recommend this one because it is going to give you just a little bit more hydration than maybe like a liquid lipstick would. So that is this one here. Super pretty. I love it. And it looks really good with like mustard yellow. So this color is actually a color that I wore in one of my recent Instagram pictures. And a lot of you guys said that you loved the color. And this is by Physicians Formula and it's the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish liquid lipstick in Fight Free Reticles. Um, but this is probably the most fire engine-y red that I like. I tend not to gravitate, like I said, towards the fire engine cherry reds, but I would say this is probably the closest to that as I get. And on camera, it actually looks really, really bright. It's not really this bright in person. But one thing that I can say is this brand of liquid lipsticks is phenomenal. You have to try them. They are actually fairly moisturizing for liquid lipsticks. It's almost like a nice thin layer of color versus like that thick goopy layer of color, which I really like, but they're also still extremely pigmented, which is amazing. Definitely one of the best liquid lipstick lines out there. And this color is just a really pretty fire engine red. I actually wore this with a white shirt. It had some yellow uh, text on the front and I thought it looked really, really pretty. And then I also had my really, really extreme cat eye sunglasses and it just looked so pretty. So if I'm in the mood for that cherry fire engine red, this is always the one I go for. Love this color if you're looking for that true, true, true red. All right, you guys, so this one is actually um, by Wet n Wild, and I have talked about this line of lipsticks in the past and how I don't really like them that much, um, but the reason I like it actually for this color specifically is because these are matte, like it's a matte line of lipsticks. And the thing about this is they actually wear, even though they're lipsticks, they wear like liquid lipsticks. So the nice thing about these is that they're not gonna feather and they're not going to blur as much as like a regular lipstick would. They're a little bit on the drying side, but like I said, it works well for a red that you want to stay in place, if you know what I mean. So this is the color Cinnamon Spice, and this is definitely more of my favorite sultry red. So I feel like this is kind of like an evening red, which I think is really pretty, because this kind of reminds me of the colors that I was wearing for a long time, like those mauve brown colors, but just a little bit more on the red side. So I think that this is definitely one of my favorites. I just feel like this is a very wearable red. It's a red that is 
just dark enough to not be extremely like bright and in your face if you know what I'm saying. I don't know why, I just think that this is like a extremely flattering red. Really, really cheap color, but it's beautiful, beautiful. I just love finding cheap makeup that is just phenomenal and this is just such a perfect color, I love it. All right, you guys, last but not least is my favorite red of all time. And the reason I put this one last is because I wanted to just keep it on for the rest of the day because it's my favorite one. This is the one that I pull for normally when I wanna wear reds. I feel like it goes really well with my skin tone. I feel like it goes with most of the things that I wear. And not only that, it's in my favorite line of lip colors. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's very similar to the one I just showed you, except for it's a little bit more on the warm side and a little bit more on like that terracotta brick red side, which like I said, I prefer. And I just think it's so pretty. I actually wanna go and buy like two backups because I'm not obsessed with this color and I don't want it to be discontinued because it's so perfect. And I just love it so much. So this is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish in Restorative Effects. And, ugh, it's just so pretty. It's so perfect. Like, I love this color so much. Like, is that not the perfect red? I love it. So it's a liquid lipstick, so you're not gonna get that feathering and blurring. And I also love, like, I prefer red lipsticks that are matte. I just think it looks better. I don't know why, I just always like red lipstick in matte form. I feel like when it's too shiny, it's just like too much, you know? So this is a beautiful matte, and it's so pretty. It looks so good with mustard, I feel like, like mustard yellow, and I just love this color. So if you haven't picked this up yet, guys, please go and do it because you will not be disappointed, especially if you're like me and you like warm reds. This is gonna be one of those annoying products that I talk about forever, like over and over and over again. You guys are like, okay, we get it. Like, we know you like that color. <laughs> like, you don't have to keep repeating yourself, but I do. All right, you guys, so that is it for my top five favorite drugstore red lip colors. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you guys have tried these colors before or if any of these are your favorites. And also comment down below what your all-time favorite red is, whether it's drugstore or high-end. Like, what is your signature red? Like, I'm starting to think that this one right here is my signature red because I just love it that much. So, so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook group. My Facebook group is actually where I hold a lot of like secret giveaways where I give away a lot of the makeup I get free from companies that have been like lightly swatched or maybe lightly used for maybe like one video or something like that and you guys can actually get your hands on those products if you don't mind using makeup that has been swatched or has been slightly used. I just have a lot of makeup that I, you know, try out for companies and stuff like that. And a lot of times I only use them maybe once or just swatch them and I don't want to just keep them around. So check out my Care Emily Insiders page. The link is always down below. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.